everybody, this is SDB Chris. I'm from SDB City, and welcome to my vlog again. I'm back. So, I'm in my office as uh, usual um, so far, and uh, the reason is because it's too dark out, and even if it was light enough out, it was raining today, so you wouldn't have heard me talk anyway. You would have just heard thump, 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 thump. So, be that as it may, we are recording it uh, the night before in my office. And uh, first things first, I do have to say I'm sorry for the lack of videos. Uh, we uh, things things in life are pretty pretty nuts right now, and I just have not had time to record. Um, I did have some time on Sunday night to do the uh, Super Mario RPG series and do videos for this week, but that encountered a game breaking bug. Um, literally one screen after I finished the first episode, so kind of wasted my night on that, trying to troubleshoot it. Never figured it out. I think it's just busted. Um, I might still release the first episode anyway, though, uh, because it's funny. I, I, I think it's hilarious, so I think you at least deserve uh, to see what that game could have been had it not been broken, because it, it really... Uh, I think it really deserves uh, an audience, and it's kind of too bad that it won't get one, because it doesn't work. So... But yeah, about my uh, my life getting turned around, I uh, may have a major life um, decision to make here in the next week or so, and I'm not going to say what it is just yet, um, and even then I'm probably not going to say exactly what it is, but it, uh, it has been getting me to think about things, and it's been causing me to jump around and, and try to you know, grab hold of, uh, you know, certain things in, uh, in my life and try to figure out, you know, what the score is really. Anyway, I'm just kind of running along, minding my own business, and, and this thing drops into my lap, and I have to figure out what to do with it. And it's really kind of upended my tea table. Um, I just have to consider, you know, um, basically it has to do with, with family and not, not directly with family, but incidentally with family. And I just have to figure out what do I want in my life? And it just seems that I can't have everything I want and it doesn't feel quite fair. Um, even though this is a really cool thing, um, going in that direction would possibly close off some other avenues. And I only say possibly, it's not definitely going to, but possibly. But And if it does, then I feel like I have to kind of decide right now if I'm going to be okay with that, you know? Um, there's, there's a little risk there, and I have to kind of figure out if the risk is worth it uh, towards getting to this this kind of goal that I'm, that I'm looking after. And I apologize, I'm speaking in really vague generalities, and that's just kind of because of the, uh, the nature of the thing I'm talking about um, and uh, how it intersects with my YouTube channel, and there could be a potential conflict of interest there. So I have to watch what I say so that other people don't get the wrong idea and uh, certain legal departments don't get the wrong idea. Uh, but uh, I've probably said enough that you can read between the lines if you're really careful at it. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel ambivalent a little bit about it. Less ambivalent than a week ago when I started this process, but still a little, little ambivalent. So just kind of curious um, if any of you have ever faced like a major life decision and you kind of felt conflicted in the way that I feel conflicted. You know, if if you have, I'd like to hear from you and how you resolve that because it might actually help me um, make this decision. So, you know, let me know. I'd, I'd really appreciate your input on it. Um, it definitely would come in handy. Next thing on my mind is uh, an audio drama I starred in with a British accent and everything. It wasn't a bad British accent. It was actually very good. Um, it just takes me a while to warm up into one. You know, it, was, uh, it takes me 
quite a bit of time, really, to, to sort of do it. And then even then I sort of muddle my way around the accents and so it sort of falls into one uh, or the other. It's very hard to, to tell. It's, uh, it takes a bit of time. Uh, but the, the whole thing is uh, the people who published that audio drama are going to uh, republish it as a special edition. Uh, he's not playing George Lucas on it or anything like that, thank God. But um, we do have to uh, do some line re-recording and we're going to drop the accent now and just talk about the Kickstarter. Because the Kickstarter is uh, going to be happening on November 1st. And it, the audio drama is called Stitch Crosses and you can find it on Audible, the, the, the old version. And the new version is going to be updated probably with soundtrack and uh, some new scenes and things like that uh, just to kind, of, to, to kind of make the story flow better and it's about this kind of uh, Templar Knight in the Crusades who is not uh, really satisfied with what's going on in the Crusades and it's really kind of a journey to find himself and the, uh, the Templar Knight is played by me me, yours truly I play Marcus the Templar Knight. So it was fun. It was fun, and I want to revisit it. So um, look for more information later on that. Uh, I'll link to the Kickstarter when it goes live. So until then, well, not until then, until next week, <laughs> I am going to cut this vlog off. So my name is Ezra Chris. Auf Wiedersehen, Revidus, Yes, Vista. Bye bye.